now reshuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Pentacles, and it's with these King of Cups. Now, the Four of Pentacles, it can be a part of a holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So, when you get this card in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're claiming to. And whether or not others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety and fear. Could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now it's with this King of Cups, which speaks of a balance, male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, it can indicate an actual person or a man in your life. Usually, this type of individual is very kind and loving. Because whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the very most loving energies in the deck. Yeah, this person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. However, just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So, your recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Pentacles, clarified by this King of Cups. Yeah, so I'm getting for a lot of you Cancers, you, you had someone that wanted to offer you love. Because what's in the King of Cups hand? It's a cup, but what's in it is love. Somebody had a lot of love for you, Cancer. But it turned out that this person, they started to become very clingy in an unhealthy way. Because if you take a look at the Four of Pentacles, um, this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hand on his money. He's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his head, his brain or his head looks like it's about to explode. Yeah. And if a brick fell out of the sky and knocked him upside his head, he'd still be holding on to his pinnacles in that same position. Yeah, your person might have turned out to be clingy and needy. And it just felt like it was just smothering or it was just too much. Maybe they were resistant to change. It caused anxiety. So we move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Eight of Swords and it's with the Will of Fortune. Now the Eight of Swords... You could be holding yourself back because you're afraid to move in the future, move towards the future, or it could be for no reason at all, or maybe you're afraid of getting hurt by, by a new situation. So think, think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of those situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, it's with the will of fortune. Which is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings. 
and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So, coming up for you and your person, Eight of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah. I don't know if you're telling your person this, Cancer, but you're actually afraid to move forward with them. Yeah, because if you look at the Eight of Swords, this man has himself caged in with all these swords. There's a hot fire behind him and a huge bull that's behind him also. This person could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But now this person will rather stand there and burn or get chewed up by a bull than go forward with this person that's so clingy that's holding on to you so tight you'd rather just stand there next to a bull in a, in a hot fire yeah the will of fortune is here though yeah you feel like you feel like there's much better out there for you yeah cause the will of fortune right now it's showing that well, the Wheel of Fortune, it's, um, fortune is in your favor, and you, that's why I'm saying when you get the Wheel of Fortune, that's what it is. Fortune is in your favor. So you're feeling that there's much better out there for you. So you just hold yourself, you're holding yourself back. You're not moving forward. Like I said, you, you'd rather get burned by a fire. This person has a lot of love for you. Like I said, the King and the Queen of Cups, when they show up, when the King and the Queen of Cups shows up in a reading, there, that's a lot of love. What's in that cup? L-O-V-E. So you just hold yourself back. Yeah, you feel like there's much better out there. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up. For the challenge, we got the Page of Pentacles, and it's with this Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. It can be a card about boredom in some way. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement, but it's important to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Excitement, it can be created. Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you. When you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished, it brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, it's with this Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Because if you can see the Ten of Wands... It's the card below the word challenge. This man is walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your, lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you'll probably find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. So... It's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So, your challenge, Cancer, Page of Pentacles, clarified by this Ten of Wands. Yeah, so like I said, your person, they, they're doing some type of unhealthiness, and it's saying it's unhealthy clinging. It could be something else. It's causing you to be a, be fearful of moving forward with them. You think there's much better out there. Um, your your um, page of pentacles is about boredom. You're bored with the connection. You're bored with the person. And your person is feeling it. Yeah, they're feeling it. They're feeling like it's a difficult relationship now. 
but they still love you. Yeah, they feel that something's going on. It's it's just a difficult time for you to. Yeah, they feel like um, they could be feeling that you feel like the relationship is a heavy burden. They could be feeling your energy. They could be feeling that you think that they're a burden. Yeah, they, your person is feeling your energy. They could be feeling like you feel like they're too difficult. So I'm getting a couple of storylines here. But Leah, you're losing interest, you're bored. You think that much better is out there with this Wheel of Fortune. So we move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Six of Swords. And it's with the Temperance. Temperance card. Now, Six of Swords. Uh, yeah, I like this card. It pretty much says says it all if you just look at the picture. Um, yeah, Six of Swords is a card above the word outcome. You see how these, pe these two people, they're in a canoe or a boat. It looks like they just got out of raging waters. And finally, the waters have become still. So they just got out of the storm. And now they're moving in the calmer waters. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're really into each other, though. Because she's got her back to him, and he's about maybe six feet or maybe more, maybe eight feet behind her. No conversation at all. So that's the energy I'm getting for you and this person coming up. Yeah. They feel like they feel your energy. They feel like they feel that you think this connection is a burden or, or it's difficult dealing with them. Yeah, you could feel smothered by this person. You're losing interest. You're not moving forward. Yeah. And you're just looking to find balance. Bring balance back into your life. That's what temperance is all about. Yeah, you don't want to hurt this person. So you might just... You might just put them in the friend zone. Because Six of Swords is about just being at peace. Not not really going anywhere. Two people in a boat not going anywhere. <laughs> but maybe to a peaceful place. So, yeah, you don't want to hurt them. You know that this person has a lot of love for you. So, that's a reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Yeah, so, um, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but some people say they're having a hard time hearing me. When I play it back, I can hear me clearly, loud and clear. I don't know what's really going on. A lot of people say they only have their sound on number four and they can hear me clearly but others say they can't so press the cc button that's closed caption it's right below the video it says cc and you'll see all everything that i'm saying it will come up on the screen in text and words letters yeah or if you got some headphones or earbuds that would be really helpful until i get my situation straight over here Things are a little bit different. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I hope that um, you guys are doing well and taking good care of yourself during this crazy virus season. So hang in there. It's, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. 
Yeah, also keep in mind your person could be a friend or a family member or a situation if you're not dealing with anyone romantically. And yes, the roles can be switched. So, Cassians, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.